star Chris Paul is hitting a different kind of hardwood this afternoon. Instead of draining threes on the court, he's taking to the lanes here in Phoenix, along with some of his celebrity friends, as well as PBA pros, in a competition to benefit families and communities across the country. This is Chris Paul, and this is how I roll. Chris Paul is ready to bowl. His goal, to capture another trophy here at the Chris Paul PBA Celebrity Invitational. Joining him on the lanes, NFL Hall of Famer Terrell Owens. Bachelorette star Rachel Lindsay. Comedian Hannibal Burris. And to keep it in the family, none other than CP3's dad, Charles Paul. Those stars will join forces with some of the PBA's best for a competition that benefits the Chris Paul Family Foundation. Happy Sunday to you as we welcome you inside Bolero Gilbert, just outside of Phoenix, Arizona. For Rob Stone, the Hall of Famer, Randy Peterson, the soon-to-be Hall of Famer, Chris Paul, back here with us. 12th edition of the CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitation. We have had some some like A-list celebrities through the years, right? Yeah. Year one, we had LeBron, we had Durant, we had Lil Wayne, Kevin Hart. Um, Don't forget your friend Reggie Bush. My boy Reggie <laughs> Bush as well, but I love the audible that you made this year. We got some great celebrities, but we got one that, that's, that's really close to your heart this year. Absolutely, we got my dad. <laughs> <laughs> we got my dad, Charles Paul Sr. It's, uh, it's crazy, it's funny, man. I wouldn't be bowling, I wouldn't be here, I wouldn't be doing anything without my dad, but he's the one who introduced me and my brother to uh, to bowling years ago. Chris, what, uh, what's the status of CP1's bowling game right now? Um, I don't know. I think my dad game suspect. He, <laughs> he'd, probably say, he'd probably say different. Uh, since I was a kid, we've been going to bowling alleys, and as we got older, obviously we compete uh, and in anything. We compete in anything if it's Connect Four, but especially bowling. You just got to be careful because my dad, he likes to throw his bowling ball halfway down the uh, lane before it gets to the pin. There and he just talked about your game and he said that it was suspect. What do you got to say about that? We shall see. His game is suspect. <laughs> oh, I like that. The trash talking starts already. But you know what? This is we've seen you at this event so many times, but this is the first time you're on the lanes. Are you ready to show these young gun what it's all about? Yeah, I'm finna bring some old school back. Oh, I like it. Now, your son has won this four times, and I talked to him earlier, and he said he is gunning for number five. How badly do you want to walk away with that trophy tonight? Man, I could beat him upside the head. I'd walk away with it, and then I'd put it where he could see it every time he walked in my house. And now we know where Chris gets his trash talking from. I love it. Oh, my God. I cannot wait for the show to start. This is going to be amazing. Are, are you going to put up with that? Old man is putting you oh, in your man, place. I want to see it. You know, this is, this is different. This is different. We grew up going to north side lanes and winston salem north carolina yeah. right pops used to just bowl with his homies you know this is the bright lights everybody can see so we'll see what he's talking about ain't no place ain't no place to hide here let's talk right. about the other celebrities here terrell owens rachel Lindsay, hannibal burris terrell owens and i think yep. terrell's probably chris's biggest competition next to pops but uh Chris, let's talk about Hannibal, Hannibal uh, Burris. We all know how funny he is, but is uh, is there any way that we could take his bowling game serious? Man, absolutely. I saw him warming up over there. He's real strong in here, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, you bring them, I'm going to throw the ball down there and scare all the pins. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I, I've seen it over and over again in this thing. The person that you like try to think is the underdog, yep. that's the person that'll surprise you. So we'll see. Yeah, you've learned. You've learned through Absolutely. the years, sir, man. It, Absolutely. Uh, by the way, I just want to remind you, you haven't won this since 2018. Who was keeping track? <laughs> Me. <Relax>. You. <laughs> yeah, I know you're keeping track, my friend. <laughs> I know you are, Chris. Thanks. Get on back out there. I Have fun it. here as we take you through the formats of what's coming your way over the next couple hours. We got the double strike derby. That's the seating round coming up next to the doubles competition. And then we're going to have a little strike derby fundraiser trying to get some more money to your foundation. The celebrity super clash. Can't wait to see Pops in that one. And then the double step ladder, a five frame match. So our first team getting set for the double strike derby seating round. One celebrity and one pro will try to rack up as many strikes as possible. The team with the highest number of strikes will be your top seed on the stepladder for the CP3 doubles competition coming up later in the show. First team up, T.O. and A.J. 
A six-time Pro Bowl receiver and NFL Hall of Famer, T.O. Terrell Owens. A seven-time member of Team USA, bowling out of Fox Bowl in Wheaton, Illinois, A.J. Johnson. T.O. and A.J. Toach. Nice. And we are underway. 120 seconds on the clock. There's a strike. T.O. left the uh, 10 pin there. Now they flip lanes. Patiently waiting for the reset. A.J. fires. Oh, left the 10. T.O. cruises that one and drops them all. A gutter ball for the Hall of Famer. I got you. I got That's you. That's right. AJ picking up T.O. This team's going to be tough to beat. It's Hannibal taking this one in. He's going a little too with the sunglasses. I, I've okay. seen that look before on the bowling lanes. AJ, another strike. T.O. Oh, yeah. Oh. Got the seven. Unlucky. Four strikes. Again, this is the seeding round. 120 seconds there on the clock. There's about... 50 left right now. It was all AJ right now. Lighten him up. Oh, I got you. Six strikes right now. 15 seconds left on the clock. This could be the last shot for both. Now down to 10 seconds. AJ having to wait. And that's all she wrote. Six strikes. Good work, man. AJ Johnson was just about perfect. Was he not? Yeah, AJ with four of the team's six strikes. T.O. picking up two. There's the gutter ball for right. T.O., but they got some work yeah, to AJ's do. got his back right there. No, they got some work to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven or eight. Terrell Owens, uh, we all know that you're, you've been through plenty of two-minute drills in your career. Uh, that's the fastest two minutes in our sport. What did it feel like? Uh, it wasn't too bad. I uh, definitely need to get my cardio up, that's for sure. I'm yeah. sure your cardio is pretty, pretty high up there. Thanks a lot. All right. <laughs> maybe, maybe he needs to give up arm day for a change and, and do a little cardio day, huh? Is the gun show and thunder and lightning are still there. The gun show and, and the quadzillas are still there, man. <laughs> right? No leg days are missed here. All right. T.O. and A.J. with six strikes. Time for team number two. He has starred on Adult Swim's The Eric Andre Show since 2012. Hannibal Burris. A 13-time BBA champion and two-time major winner, the real deal, Bill O'Neill. to see how this team does. O'Neal left one hanging, and Hannibal left a lot. A lot of hanging on that first shot. <laughs> that one was supposed to strike, though. This guy makes me laugh. I just look at him, and I start laughing. You remember him in uh, Baywatch? He had some great lines yes, and moments did. in Baywatch with The Rock. There we go. Come on. Oh, Leo. Oh, oh, man. Yes. Folks, we're at zero. Yeah, I... That's good. That's good. My Better get it going. What do you think the, the story with the sunglasses? Oh, you, you think I'm going to ask him? You have to. Oh, 100%. That's coming up when he's done. There you go, Bill. Hannibal. Yeah. Oh, come on. Come on. He almost had a Brooklyn there. 
Six is the number to beat. T.O. and A.J. Johnson just had six. So they would be your one seeds right now. Hey, y'all said I take turns? What? I didn't hear that rule. There you go, kid. I like his form. It's not what they would call textbook, but that's all right. Back to back, Jack. They're still in it. Yeah, the animal and the real deal. They're picking it up right now. Yeah. There's four. Two away. Come on, Hannibal. Oh, no. That one's not coming home. Nope. 20 seconds left. They still have a chance to tie this up. Man, I, I gotta move on. Must strike here for O'Neal. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. there's a fiver. Yeah, but he's gonna get one more shot off, and so is Hannibal. They might hit some metal on this shot. <laughs> <laughs> Great time. Are we gonna give it to him? That's a tie. Does it count? This feels like family feud, like, e -e -e. like I don't know. I, I, I think I saw a big zero on that clock. You know, Chris Paul is a given man, but not when it's his tournament. I didn't notice that, no. I was at the rack. I wouldn't even look at it. I didn't notice it for the last time. That can't count. That can't count, right? What? What's that? That counts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm going to take another look. Billy O on the left. Hannibal. Straighten. Wide right. Is this his strike? Is this his strike? There it is. There it is, kid. A little runaway Brooklyn. That's right. That's right. That's right. See that tiebreaker. And then O'Neal taking that one up. Hannibal. What's the deal with the what's the deal with the glasses here tonight? I love the look. Uh it's just it's not that it's not that complicated. It's just uh it's really bright here. Uh, it's like it's really bright here. Because you've never, you've never, enough, uh, you've never, you've never uh, performed in front of lights before. What are we doing here? Why, why are you acting like sunglasses are so wild? It's bright as hell in here, and I'm bowling, and I, I got booked four hours ago. I'm sleep deprived. This is a last minute situation, and I'm still just really computing everything that's happening right now. All right, keep, I didn't expect to be around as many people today. All right, keep And it's hell of wild, you know? Keep computing, Stop acting my like friend. sunglasses are so crazy, man. They've, gotta, been around, they've been around for a really long time. <laughs> you're channeling your... See that they are bloodshot right now, because I yeah. moved and there we get, there, Now we find the truth, Hannibal. Now we find the truth. It took good? a while to get there. Yeah. The eyes look good, the shades look good. <laughs> Coming up, the strike derby seating round continues with the three remaining teams trying to grab the top spot on the championship stepladder here at the Chris Paul PBA Celebrity Invitational. There's the trophy they're all rolling for today inside Bolero Gilbert, just outside Phoenix. So they gave Burris and O'Neal a late strike, and they're technically now in first place because the tiebreaker strikes in a row. They had three, so Hannibal and O'Neal on top as we get ready for team number three. She starred as the Bachelorette in 2017 and earned a law degree from Marquette University. Big Rach is Rachel Lindsay. <laughs> a two-time member of Team USA, she bowls out of Walnut Hill Bowl in Old Mountain Lanes in Rhode Island. Jasmine Gigi Mason. Yes, sir. That's a pretty good-looking duo, huh? Yes. Yeah, high, high energy from this duo, too, by the way. You gotta love Gigi's hand warmer, too. Right? Full-on mitten, like, middle of the winter hand warmer. She's got game. And again, 120 seconds, she's got strikes. 120 seconds to get as many strikes as possible. Shake it off, Rachel. Don't worry about it. You got Gigi as your partner. So, Wait, can I Rachel. Can she lets go? Okay. It's interesting about Rachel. Not only was she on The Bachelor, but then the next season she's on The Bachelorette. Yeah, that's uh, double dipping. But you know what, Rob? If you weren't married to wife Lynn right? and you were on The Bachelorette, you'd win. Yes, I would. Thank you would win. I had to do some math there for a second. Strike number two. I go. All right, Rachel. She so, goes or I go? Doesn't matter. As soon as you have this, go, go, go. 
GG. Yeah. Yeah. Drops all 10. Like I said, she's got game. Third strike what? down the middle. Oh, Just good try. Good try. Good try. Are you good? Are you ready? She's coming out firing. Oh. Maybe. That might be the. That might Maybe. be the. Oh. Double wood. GG on the right lane. Oh, yeah. There's four. Six is the number to match or beat. Oh, Ra God. Rachel's hustling up to the line. She's ready for it. GG. Curled that one in nicely. GG, perfect. Five in a row for GG Mason. There's your tiebreaker. 15 seconds left. Could it be? Maybe. Could it be? Maybe. Could it be? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's dialed in, folks. Dialed in. Okay, that's all your best. That's up, GG. Everybody with six I'm strikes. Get one, two, how many does she get? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's okay. You got one butterball. <laughs> but you see how I was wrong? I'm old about three So strikes in a row actually just going to be two. It's a, because it's a team, team outing. So they are now in third place. GG Mason just making shot after shot, Rob. And well, Rachel's hiding for cover. <laughs> Rachel's get out like, of the camera. Rachel's like, hey, when it's doubles, it's all about picking the right partner. Right? <laughs> are they talking? Yeah, Rachel, so you just saw it in slow motion. What, what do you think of your form and your shots? Um, I think it's obvious I don't have a form, but I think it's pretty clear what our strategy is going to be, and it's all about Gigi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, her presence just makes it easier for me to do what I do, so... Aww. That's teamwork. Beautiful exactly. teamwork. It's all about teamwork this is the here. Part that don't really matter. We're waiting yeah. for a part that really matters. That was the one. I really didn't want to show everybody what I've got. You know, as you see, I didn't practice. I just went straight in. So, you know, now I'm ready for the real thing. Savvy, Rachel. Savvy. Yeah. Save it for when there's money on the line. All right, we'll see you guys a little bit later in the show. Good job out there. Thank you. <laughs> Who's up next? Big Daddy. That's who. The patriarch of the Paul family, Big Daddy. Old school, Charles Paul. He earned his first PBA Tour title this season, a two-time member of Team USA DT, Darren Tang. All right, here we go, 120 seconds on the clock. Tang and Papa Paul. There's one strike. Tang with a Brooklyn? Move my leg. Take it, man. Take it. I had to do that for y'all, too. There he is. Charles Paul. Chris's dad. Go get it. Come on. Come on. By the way, I, I love this. Chris is right there watching his dad the whole time. I mean, he's rooting for him, but to a, to a degree. Tang looking for strike number three and finding it. Right. Oh. Pops off target. Hey. All, right. All right, a little help from CP1 and Darren Tang and Charles are in business. That was cross the line. Maybe. Oh, oh man. Look at, that. Look at my brother. Oh, my Look, at the son. Look at the eldest boy over there. Ooh, those suckers were flying, but not a strike. I mean, Chris's eyes have not left the old man. Come on, man. Why you got to be like that? Oh, come on, Darren. You got a strike. There's four. Come on, Charles. Charles in charge. No. You got that kind of guy that instead of throwing your heater. Throw your heater now. You don't think they like talking smack back in No, not either. at all. Bro, the eater. Oh, that's not fair. Go ahead, I'll take my time. 20 oh, seconds God. left. He's got a chance, Randy. Yes, sir. Oh, no. 
Zero Dan gets that one. There's five. Are they going to be able to get one off in time? Clock ticking. We're at five seconds. Oh, yep. Darren's going to get it off. I didn't help my part now. What, what advice was what advice was that I little? Wasted, I wasted that uh, that good break too early. <laughs> the last what? one was close. Hey, Ch hey Charles, what was Chris saying behind your back while you were out there rolling? Oh, he was talking junk, talking about I should have threw my ace ball, talking about I ain't throw it far enough. All right, we'll climb. Senior, is that the fastest two minutes in bowling you've ever experienced? Yes, but I believe, I believe they iced me and him for a little bit. They iced you? Yeah, they let us sit there for a long time, didn't they? <laughs> All right, so what are you going to learn from this that you can bring back in the stepladder finals? We're going we're gonna to do it. We're going to take it. All right, man. You put that punk in his place, all right, Charles? <laughs> I Don't will. Let, I know you will. <laughs> I will. Uh, so we'll see P3 outscore the old man. The pressure is on. An 11-time NBA All-Star and Olympic gold medalist. Read the back wall. See P3 from the Phoenix Suns, Chris Paul. A 17-time PBA champion with two career major titles, the 2011-12 Player of the Year, Sean Rash. Now, Randy, Chris has a history in this tournament. Yeah. And you know what that history is? Uh, winning it a lot. Uh, trying to stack it in his favor. <laughs> Really? Uh-huh. How much smack talk can you think uh, Dad Charles is going to give Chris if Chris does a strike? I don't know. Dad might be getting some oxygen and some Gatorade right now. He might be a little winded and rethinking things. Mm. Only one strike right now, though, for mm. Chris Paul and Sean Rash. It's the final, the final team here in the speed strike seeding round. And now your number one seed, the surprise team, Hannibal Burris and the real deal, Bill O'Neill. You got that one? Yeah. yeah. You're both. Chris Paul, you bowl very safely. Like, <laughs> Is like it? a safe, yeah. Go like ahead, like ahead. Pay, placing it out there. You huh? bowl like somebody that doesn't have $100 million. That looks good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Double shot. Oh, nice. Simultaneous strikes. Puts him at four. No messenger. Five is the low number so far. We just saw it from Charles, Paul, and Darren Tang. But now Daddy's got more strikes than Baby Boy. There we go. Now we're up to five. Chris and Charles are tied at five. Yeah, Chris needs to come through here. You got you to gotta kind of bank on Sean Rash track, striking on that left lane. Oh, uh, you got to go. There it is. That ain't, that ain't coming Ten back. Ten seconds they, left. Yeah, they can get one more off. They might take it. For the number one seed. Need some pins. Will they have time? Two, one. Rash on oh, oh, Slow. Tried to get it under the sweep. I don't blame him. So close. You see, he took as well, much heat off that as he could. Bond didn't come down at the end. Two yep. strikes in a row, the tiebreaker. Yep, they got six. They got six. And like you said, two in a row. I only know one team that got the tiebreaker on two. Huh? We had three. I know. Same amount as you. <laughs> right. That puts him in second or third. I was told there'd be no math involved today. Yeah, yeah no so doubt. So all right, Chris, you guys are the three seed due to all the tiebreakers. Who who bowled better, you or you or Pops? Man, I did. I did. Are you sure about that? And it, and, it, and it don't matter where you start, it's where you finish. So we the three seed. I did that on purpose, CP3. <laughs> <laughs> on on purpose? What's the strategy it's a for that? Of the madness. You'll see in the end. I don't know right now. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, let me ask you this. If, uh, if you go head-to-head, with uh, with CP1, uh, how much trash talking is going to be going on in that match? I don't know. We got to see. You know what I mean? Like my dad. I mean, obviously he raised me and all that good stuff. But at the end of the day, we got to beat him. So it's totally different when you start bowling with the lights on. So he gonna see. 
Thanks, guys. Family love only goes so far, man, and it ends on the lanes, Randy. Hey, and, and Charles proved that he can bring it. All right, so the stepladder bracket, Randy, has been finalized awfully tight, but you see Charles Paul, Darren Tang, your five seeds, taking on Lindsay and Mason, the winner of that one, to take on Chris Paul, Sean Rash, T.O. and A.J. waiting in the semifinals. And there's your one seed, Hannibal, the animal, Burris, and Bill, the real deal, O'Neal. When we return more with CP3 here outside Phoenix. Welcome back inside Bolero Gilbert, just outside Phoenix. Our continuing coverage of the CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitational. Chris Paul joining us right now. We talked about it in the outset. You've won this four times. 2010 in New Orleans, your teammate Jason Belmonte. And then the next year with Belmo again. So, yeah, twice as nice. Uh, and then a bit of a lull until 2017 in L.A. Chris yeah. Barnes. That was the day I had surgery, like the day after that, on my thumb. I remember <laughs> I see that. see it taped up. Yeah. And then uh, the Wee Man, your partner, in 2018. Oh, man, that was so much fun. Who's got better ups, you or Norm? Norm might have had more but come better on, ups man. that day. That day, it was Norm. Norm can't jump with that trophy in his hand. I'll tell you that right now. That's the heaviest oh, trophy in the world of sports. Norm got so much personality, man. Doesn't he do. always makes it so much fun. Pete, Weber, all them guys. I'm so grateful yeah. to them guys. Hey, we, we love having you around here with us. And the reason we're here, though, for the Chris Paul Family Foundation, all the proceeds heading towards that, what are some of the moments you're most proud of that your family foundation has been able man, to do? Man, there's so many things that we've been blessed and fortunate to do over the years. Our commitment to the youth, to children, and building learning centers and and computer labs and just trying to figure out ways that we can help impact the youth not only in education but also in health thank you for all you've done in all the communities that you've been remember we started this thing in winston-salem yeah hometown, man we've been man. in winston-salem we've been in new orleans we've been to uh, la houston houston phoenix phoenix yeah. we're, we're not going to be anywhere else for a while are we listen that's that's <laughs> a, that's above my pay grade <laughs> <laughs> and we got some family members in attendance Absolutely. out here today as well Always. All right, take us through who's in the house here. Yeah, we got my boy Cam over there, my wife Jada, my sister-in-law Desiree, and my mom right there, just just to talk. And then there go my brother. There, you know, he's sneaking. He knows when the camera light yeah, is on, he knew, right? He knew something. All right, so we're, we're ready to continue to put some smiles on their faces right now because it is time for the Chris Paul Family Foundation Strike Derby Fundraiser presented by our good friends at Bolero. And we, we brought in a ringer for this. We brought in a ringer to make you some money. PBA Strike Derby champion Andrew Anderson. Thousand bucks to a charity for every strike he drops. Man, this is going to be so dope. And I'm grateful to Andrew. I'm a big fan of his. You know what I mean? He, he's been so good for so long, and I'm, uh, I'm ready to see what he's going to do. That was, that was an awkward slow-motion kiss of that trophy. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, all right, so here it is. There's the numbers, 120 seconds, and Bolero will donate $1,000 to your family foundation for every strike that Mr. Anderson drops. All right. Here we go. What do you think he's getting? Him? He said he's hoping to get 16 off. I think 16? He said he's hoping. A dozen feels about right. There's a quick two. You think he'll get 12 off? I hope so. He's fast, man. He's in shape, but he's fast. If he, get 12, if he get 12 off, I think he'll get at least 10. In each strike here, going to the Chris nice. Paul Family Foundation. Yeah. Action. Can he crack open a six pack? Who controlling the clock? You need to find that person, slow it down. <laughs> you need you need that you should have brought the home the home clock guy from the Suns game. Right. Heavy finger. Hey, we're not gonna start this quite yet. There we go. There we go. Six. Seven. There you go. Oh. No tap. Still got 40 seconds left. Brings up goes, another one. Yep. He at least gonna get 10. All right, there we go, eight. Pocket. Eight. Man, eight. Nice. Do, it, 
you want to break down his uh, okay. you see there okay. by Kia? Look at it. He's just in such a nice rhythm. Look at that. Look at like that. Like shooting a free throw. Swap the blue. He ain't looking at it. He gone. Ten. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That red is yep. going in the same place, I man. Yep. He's happy. Come All right. On. Double digits. Come on. Oh, he's waiting. It's a timeout. Stop the clock. <laughs> Stop the clock. It's a timeout. Give him one more. Give him one more. Yeah. Yeah. 11 Dang. strikes. Yeah. Man. So the Chris That's Paul tough. Family Foundation Strike Derby I fundraiser know. presented by Bolero. $11,000. Over 300 centers nationwide experience the best in bowling entertainment at Bolero. Head to Bolero.com to find a center by you. 11,000 big wow. ones heading your way, my friend. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to Bolero. Minimal. Thank you. 11 strikes. That's sick. So Andrew Anderson, 11 strikes in 120 seconds. $11,000 richer is the Chris Paul Family Foundation. All right, let's head down the lane for a special announcement uh, about this strike derby. And a special announcement it is, guys, because, Coley, you know, you guys have already committed $1,000. That's 11000 but you have some really good news. What is it? Yeah, Andrew, you did amazing. And on behalf of Bolero Corp, we are actually going to double our donation to the Chris Paul Family Foundation for $22,000. Uh, absolutely wow. amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Look at my mom. Mama's happy about that one. Very. very. Uh, I see your smile. You're happy too. Man, we're so grateful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. He can bowl for me too if he oh, wants to. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Hey, no, you got to get out there next, my friend. <laughs> yes. We continue our coverage of the CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitational next. It is the Celebrity Super Clash. Let the old man know he's got to get up. Get, get him some of that vapo rub or something for him. Put some WD-40 <laughs> on him, dude. <laughs> We welcome you back to Phoenix and the 2021 PBA Celebrity Invitational. Celebrities are here, which means the red carpet was rolled out. Kimberly Pressler with more. Everyone is really excited to be here, but let's talk about the competition. Have you scouted out anybody? Not yet. The one that I know the best is T.O. over here, but I don't worry about T.O. too much because usually when the lights get bright, that's when he get a little shook. It's not even, I'm not even really competing against Chris. He just knows that I'm a decent bowler, so he wants to find some, I guess, added motivation. If you really wanted to, you could actually grow pro because you're so good at being a bowler. Do you think that's well, an I'm advantage? Already a pro bowler. I've already been a pro bowler. Yes. Oh. You know, I've already, you know, I'm a pro bowler already. He may not know that, but I just need to be a pro bowler in tonight. It's just so exciting. We're going to raise money for a great cause. We're going to see people bowl really well and see people not bowl not so well today. And all of that is really good TV. I got to gauge the environment of bowling with the, you know, with the lights and, and, and cameras and see how everything is. I know I hate, I hate disco bowling. No, no disco bowling here tonight. No female has ever won this event before, so the pressure is on, ladies. Are you feeling it yet, Miss Gigi? I I'm not feeling the pressure, but I'm just excited to be here and just to see how, how good we can do. This is the professional, and I really feel sorry for her that she's partnered with me, but we're going to have fun. Yes. I mean, I am hearing whispers that they are starting to already call us the dream team, so I'm, I, I don't know. Yes. I don't know. So tonight we have an all-female team. Are you threatened by that? You know, when it comes to this bowling, anything is possible. But don't think that there's going to be any special treatment or anything like that. Like, we all compete. That trophy is a real trophy. It's a real trophy. I know I know guys, friends of mine, who I've sort of let win over the years, who still rave about having that trophy. And when I walk into their house, I see that trophy. You know, so I needed to uh, be here in Phoenix with me. Well, um, you have... Four of those trophies. Are you going to make it five tonight? Why not? CP3 will get his chance at trophy number five here in just a bit. But first, we're going to see the celebrities go it alone in the CP3 Celebrity Super Clash. Each celeb throws one shot, and at the end of the round, low man or low woman is eliminated. The last celebrity standing wins. Up first, the winner of the 2018 edition of the Super Clash, T.O. Oh, man. Late. Lost.
lost a little bit of balance there, Rob. Otherwise, that had a real nice chance of getting up into the pocket. All right. All right. I, think, All right. I think eight might be okay, right. but right. you never know. Oh, Here's Hannibal. Oh, man. Oh, man. I laid it down, Rob. All right. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Hannibal was seven, so he is the low man. Yeah, and he's now on that that couch. What'd you call that? The the couch of shame, or the, uh, the sofa of sorrow? Uh, no. Sofa of sorrow. Can I help you out? Rachel Lindsay up. Lindsay, right? Lindsay. Oh. In the middle of it. Oh. oh! And then points the finger right at Hannibal. You know, I'm not sure I'd point the finger at anybody with the first name of Hannibal. No. Just throwing it out there. Wise move. Although I'm not sure he could see it. All right, Charles. Oh, Charles. 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 To knock his dad out. Oh, yeah, yeah there's a nine. And that's a top shot. Chris, how could you? I should have played my strike. Then there were four. Yep. I just dropped that ball out there, T.O. I just dropped no, it I'm out good. there. I ain't even bowled at that time. I know, I saw. I was nervous. I'm good, though. Nine's pretty good. I take nine. I take nine. I take nine. Take nine should very easily be nine. safe in the celebrity super clash. Take nine in the yeah, day right. week. Hannibal has seven Today last time. Wow, man. First thing bad because you get to set the call. He's got the glasses off, Randy. Oh, you took the shades off? I, I took them off. Yeah, I'm serious now. I was in, I was in Houston shopping some fake jewelry when I got the call to come here. Life is crazy. Now I'm about to get this strike real quick because I need to feel safe. All right. All right. All right. Study yes. long, study wrong. Man, you, you stand up there too long, Hannibal. You're going to freeze. Oh, oh big whip. Oh, six. You got six. Oh, Rachel's got a chance now with that six. It's nice and warm for you. Rachel, hit the head pin. Oh, catch a piece of that Rachel head pin. Lindsay. Seven. Oh, no. That's four. four. Oh, no. Oh, Rachel. Oh, wow. Four? What'd you have? We have four. Can we tie? No. It's right it's up there. Chris Paul needs to keep it on the lane, Rob. Yeah, Rachel's in a world of hurt. She's in the uh, chase of shame. No, what? Done. Ten. First yeah. strike. Rachel Lindsay eliminated. No, what? If I just drop it out there, it's going to do something. So we're down to three. Who will survive the Super Clash? Will it be T.O. or Hannibal Burris? Or will our host, CP3, be the last player standing? The Super Clash continues next, where the celebs go it alone. Charles Paul, round one, eliminated with the six. Chris sends him, sends him out. Round number two, Rachel Lindsay with the four. Yeah. <laughs> so three are left, and Rachel and Charles are out, but they're standing by with our Kimberly Pressler. Thanks, Rob. So, Charles, you were the first one kicked out just now, but uh, and your own son was the one to knock you out. How bad did that hurt? He ain't knocked me out. I knocked myself out. I shouldn't have rolled that strike on the practice. I should have saved it. You should have saved it, but... You still have another chance because you guys still have the matches ahead, so don't go anywhere. You can redeem yourself there. What happened out there, Rachel? You got four. I, I like to think this is all a part of my master plan. I like it. I don't want to give it all away. I like it. We still have a ways to go. I'm going for the trophy, okay? Not for the bragging rights. Oh, I like this. I like this. Let's see how they do next.
Randy, have you noticed that it seems like everybody has a master plan right now? Yeah, they don't always work out though. Yeah, it's like it's like the Mike Tyson line, right? Everybody's oh, got a plan until you get to get hit. Yeah. You got a strike Push over here, yes. All right, Tio, round three. Oh. Only three left. Oh, that looked good out of his hand. He said he was going to knock. You like that line? This should be, this should be safe. You like that line? You rolled that one with confidence. Yeah, because I'm, right. I'm just playing. Yeah, I ain't really just been bowling like that. All right, right. playing right. safe. Right, right, right. Now all I'm just right. like, I'm in my all own right. head. All right, all right. You know you got to beat, you got to strike to beat me. I know, I know, man. Hold on, right? Like, uh, right he's there, moving yeah, his feet. Right there. Trying to get that direct line to the 1 3. Those. Yeah. So that's enough to put a little heat on Chris Paul. <laughs> you told me you was going to strike. I did. You said it was going to be a powerful strike. It was, yeah, slightly off. It's good saves, man. Yeah, you know. Now CP3. Seven. So now what? Driver's you know, seat. What's happening? Eight or more, and he moves on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look out. Six. Six. He's out. See ya. He's out. Tried to get too safe. Ended up pulling it. Hey, man. <laughs> you got, you know. <laughs> yeah. Hannibal, go ahead and win this thing. Okay. Tried to be too safe with it, crossed over. Let me see. You up. How was me? Yeah, Terrell Owens is going to get up on that right lane. And we're down to the final two. And advantage, Terrell Owens, the better bowler, but. Stranger things have happened. And they usually do happen at this event, by the way. All right, so T.O. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Lost his did he Wait, did he foul? Did he we're foul? Gonna, we're going to give him nine for now. Uh, no right. four minutes. Right. Right. Stay behind right. the foul line. All right. All right. Uh, All right. Yeah, Hannibal's going back to the glasses now. Let's All see. Right. Take another look at this shot. See, okay, see if we can okay, see his okay, foot okay. at the foul All line. Right. All right. All right. Let's close this thing down. All right. Whoa, this is like. We're being, to we're being told he did not. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me hear y'all a little bit. Let's get some tears over there. Let's get Like I said, stranger things have happened. Yeah. All day. <laughs> hey, you yeah. made it to the finals. Hey, man, you know, you just gotta, you just gotta show up. You gotta, just, it look good. Yeah, it just, oh, and, you know. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, it look good from the... Bunch of seven, that's good, you know. My man. That's one, one down. Yeah. One down. One down. One down. Well, look promising out of his hand, yeah, but just didn't catch enough that had been robbed. Yeah, Leaves the two, four, five. Oh, yeah, and there goes the raised arms of the victor, Terrell Owens. All right, Kimberly with the NFL Hall of Famer. Tio, you said you wanted to walk away a champion tonight, and you did that. You won the clash. How much confidence does this give you heading into the step ladders? Uh, a lot of confidence. I mean, this is just one, one competition, one down. Oh, and AJ, the number two seeds on the CP3 championship step ladder. Coming up next, match number one as Big Daddy Charles Paul and PBA pro Darren Tang take on the team of Rachel Lindsay and PWBA star Jasmine Mason here at the Chris Paul PBA Celebrity Invitational. Welcome back to the 2021 CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitational. How about the first edition with the king? And then the names just kept coming. Kevin Hart. There's your guy, French Montana. Yeah. Some musical stars, Ludacris, Ciara. They can't back to Rudy Gay. I mean, our guy Michael Strahan at Fox NFL. Yeah. Nelly? How about Jerry? What was that from, uh, what was that series? That's Turtle. That's right, Blake Griffin. A little way. I mean, how many good musicians? DJ, handsome Jesse Williams, Heinz Ward. A oh, little office. Office, yeah, Chris Hardwick. Well, my friend Hope Solo out there, Anthony Anderson. Oh, you know who's Mookie. not here? You know who's not here this year? Yeah. <laughs> JJ Watt and my guy, my hype man on uh, Big Noon Saturday, Reggie Bush. 
JJ Watt was in the uh, booth with us as well. That, you had you had the time of your life yeah, that he was that fun. night. He was fun, but I'm enjoying tonight as well. Here we go. A look at the matches on the step ladder final. We begin match number one. Everybody fighting for that. You know, Chris wants that trophy back in his house. It's been a couple years since he had it, but Chris Ball sitting in there as a three seat right now. He's gonna be watching pops. Charles in charge with his teammate Darren Tang. Yeah. So Darren is going to start us off in this five frame match. So the pros will go frames one, three, five. The celebrities frames two and four. Here's Darren Tang. Well, after several runner up finishes, Rob, Darren finally broke through with his first win this past summer, which surprised no one. 2022 season looks bright for Darren Tang. Felt like a long time coming. See, see that? Yeah, yeah it did. Right. And, and brother Michael giving him the five there. But yeah, nobody's surprised when Darren finally popped his first win after so many runner up finishes. Oh, That's how you start. Jasmine, Mason, and Gigi up next. Well, guess what, Rob? Gigi also looking for her first win on the PWBA Tour. She does have two regional titles and is also a two-time member of Team USA. Oh, American University of Nebraska, Lincoln. She's such a, such a beautiful smile and personality. And, and, a, and a beautiful game as well. Uh, she's going to win a lot on the ladies tour. Ooh. Look at those numbers from Strike Pack Strike Track powered by Kia 18 to 5. That's covering a lot of territory. So Gigi will step up, try to clean this one up and get a spare. Look a lot. Oh my god. You got it. Oh. That wasn't even close, Gigi. All right, now the old man, the OG CP3, is waiting, waiting in the wings. First there'll be Rachel Lindsay, Gigi's partner. Thank you. She was working the red carpet just the other day. The Emmy. Oh, 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 bad. Nailed the seven pin. The yeah, bad because they're working on a spare rob. They lose all that count. Can I get a redo? This one? The ball hits. The ball hits. You know ball. what? It was, it was something. Thank you, Gigi. Again, the Pro Bowlers, frames one, three, five. The celebrities get the even frames. Fifth frame scored like a normal tenth frame. Oh. Good try. Okay, we made up for it. We made up for it. It was the. I didn't see Charles practicing a whole lot during the break. He's saving himself, man. He's saving himself. There's a double bounce, huh? Oh. It's seven. Yeah, yeah left go, himself a doing? tough one. One, three, eight. You know, both from this angle. You be on that side, you go right to left. Trying to find the five. You triple. Chris giving him a little instruction. Well, I'm not so sure his thumb gets stuck here because remember, Chris Paul said he likes to throw it that way. Great cover. Stuff that you don't even do. You don't go left to right. You go right to left. But I ain't hitting that. We almost tricked it off right there. Spare the game brought to you by Guaranteed Rate. If you believe it, you can do it. Guaranteed Rate. Believe you will. Charles believed in that one, didn't he? Woohoo. I mean, start. Up 21. I mean, maybe add it up. Now his partner takes over, Darren Tang. Had a strike in frame one. Does it again. Yeah, beautiful shot. And again, Darren Tang just recently coming off of his first title. 
The winner of this match to take on the team of Sean Rash and Chris Paul, which I think most of us would have said, eh, this is, these are probably the favorites, but here they are as a three seed. Gigi's up. Give me a strike. Gigi curls that one in for a strike. In Gigi, we trust. Mm -hmm. You know Rachel saying that. Beautiful game on, here. Teammate. Plenty of power. And she can certainly open up the entire lane. Yep. And you yep. see it right there. And then moves that are very foreign to me. Oh. Right. Come on, Rachel. Do it. Do it. Oh, no. Man, if she can get the 710, I'm going to lose my tip. mind. How do I do this? You better go, you better go slide do down there like this. <laughs> that. That. Come on, Dad. <laughs> I know it looked good. It wasn't a strike. <laughs> right down the middle of the lane. Not a lot of hook on his shot. None. Not only is there not a lot, but it's zero. Look at that cover. Look at that cover. All right, respect. Woo. From one I generation to another. Yes, I thought you well. I thought you well. This is something they can look back on for years to come. Am I right? Hunter Chris and his father, Charles? Yeah. 100%, my friend. What a great moment for them. They've, they've earned it. Oh, 35, and that lead is just going to keep growing, huh? Charles Paul, or as Rob and I like to call him, CP1, and Darren Tang are going to move on to the next match. And they're going to take on Chris Paul and Sean Rash. Yes, sir. There may be some some Paul trash talking going on. Can you imagine if, if Dad takes home the trophy? Oh, God. What kind of I mayhem know, is, is that, that going to yeah, create? Yeah. Think about Thanksgiving dinner this year, right? right? Like, no, no, no. We didn't you're, bring, co you're coming over to our house. We didn't bring a turkey. I brought my trophy. Right? It's gonna, there'll, be no, there'll be no, like, flowers in the middle of the table. Just the trophy yeah, sitting there. exactly. Darren Tang is, yeah, I was about to say he's dialed in. Yeah, pretty good. Doesn't matter. It's over. Oh, Lord. Oh, Gigi through the nose. And the pesky 3-4 split. Mm. I will tell you this, though. Based on our numbers from Strike Track, oh, powered by right? Kia, Terrell Owens and A.J. Johnson have the combined highest rev rate of all of our teams. That could be an advantage. Yep, they're your two seed. We'll see them in a little bit. So Rachel and Gigi are done. Your four seeds eliminated. Always great to see Gigi Mason out on the lanes displaying her great talent. So the five seed, Charles Paul, Darren Tang advance. So Charles gets to take on his son, the three seed, Chris Paul and Sean Rash. That a match we cannot wait for, and it's coming your way after the break, right here on Fox, as we continue our coverage of the CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitational. Hey, our thanks, as always, to our good friends, Coley Edison, the CEO of PBA, and on the right, Tom Clark, PBA Commissioner. Of course, Coley, earlier in the show, doubling doubling the check 22k handed over to the chris paul family foundation so sean rash teaming up with chris paul here they are your three seeds take a look at sean rash and he is a shoe in for the hall of fame this guy knows how to win and he's been rock solid over the last three seasons winning five of his 17 tournaments during that span This just in from Strike Track, powered by Kia. Darren Tang, 
last game, his lay down, meaning when the ball left his hand and hit the lane, on all of his shots were less than a half an inch variance from one another. Tang had four strikes yeah. in our opening match. Yeah. Another one there. So he, What's every the shot that he threw were within less than half an inch oh, yeah. of one another at the laydown. Here's where this one is going to be won or lost. It's going to be a battle at the Pauls. Is it going to be Charles or is it going to be his son, Chris? Here's Charles. Straighter is greater. Bounce it. Oh, boy. Big four right out of the gate. Oh, no. Remember, he had two spares we'll last round. Yeah. Good luck with the spare conversion here. Right? And with every shot thrown, it always makes somebody happy. And that looked like a strike, too. It did. It good. It looked like a strike. By the way, look at, look at the face of Charles, right? Like, this is a beautiful, fun event, and he is Get down lucky. Oh, no. oh. Good try. You <laughs> better stop that. Look like he tried to get that, didn't it? So now it's up to Chris Paul. He can take a big advantage here early if he can double up on Sean Rash's strike. Nope. But avoids the big split, Rob. Thank you, Lake, though. I should use this one, huh? Yeah, probably. He's got three pin to drop. Left side. Now that's a great strategy. Pros get a strike, celebrities get a spare. That's how you win. Pretty good there. Yeah, I mean, it's all about the celebs filling frames, right? And leave it up to the pros. For all the latest PBA exclusive content, Randy, and the tournament highlights, and the classic footage, you know where you can go? Um, tell me. PBA.com. Subscribe to the PBA YouTube channel. Catch up on all the PBA action 24-7. Head to PBA.com today, Sean Rash. Sean Rash with the Some high and tight right haircut here. and that last Some shot ball. pretty high and tight into the 1-3 pocket. So Rash with a pair of strikes. Darren Tang trying to do his part to keep his team in it. there behind and, and you know you really got to count on the pro to come through and Darren makes a really nice shot there only to leave that ring in 10. Real nice summer right? Leads the point list another $20,000 bonus on top of his first career win. Not bad. Drops the 10 right. in. So he remains clean. CP1, the patriarch of the Paul family. Old school Charles Paul. He liked it. Uh, fast eight. God. Look at that ball speed there. If you check out that ball strike so track long. powered by Kia, he's over 20 miles an hour. And we see a lot of our top professionals throwing at that fast. The big difference is the rev rate. He's at 152. That grown man strength. Is that 150 rev Guys are throwing it that fast on our tour, usually in the 500s. Nice cover. Fair game coming back. Nice cover. Not over. over. No way. Split. Nice job, Bob. He's Split. cheering for a split. That's what you gonna wish on me? Split. <laughs> oh, <yeah. coughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All but over now. All but over now. Give me a hug, Give me a hug man. Don't oh, matter how I look. Rash stepping up. He can close this one out. See ya. Game over. Three seeds. Move on. We close out a tour. Split. Make it. Make it. Make it interesting. I should have split. Make it interesting. Make it interesting. <laughs> Every time I let it go, it's interesting. <laughs> Dirty. 
Chris he knew. Paul, Sean Rash will move on. Sean cleaning things up. Same thing. Shot there by Darren. Nice ball in there by Darren. Shoot the ball real nice tonight. Yeah, okay. One more shot for Sean. He and his teammate Chris Paul already moving on to the semis. Rash looking as solid as ever. That's the best time to miss. three seeds. CP3. Sean Rash. Move on. Next up, your two seeds, T.O. and A.J. Terrell Owens, A.J. Johnson, your one seeds, Hannibal Burris and Phil O'Neill still waiting here at the CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitational. So the host able to move on, but can he move past an NFL Hall of Famer? Find out next here on Fox. The last edition of the CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitational 2019 Mookie Betts and Tommy Jones taking care of business and winning the title. And what did CP3 say after that? Mookie's not coming back. Yeah, well, Mookie Betts has got a great game. And then uh, when you have a partner like Tommy Jones, that's a pretty good combination. Chris Paul trying to get his trophy back. Last time he had it, 2018. By the way, that trophy is heavier than it looks, and it looks heavy. Okay. Yeah, it's a good 40-pounder. Sean Rash, Chris Paul, your three seeds, taking on T.O. and A.J. Johnson. Rash up first. Messenger, yeah! Wow, Sean. We'll take it. We'll take it. We will take it. Look at this messenger. Head to the sidewall, nudges the 10 out. Say goodnight. 10 pin. Your best friend, Rob. Absolutely. I have, I have not missed the 10 pin. All right, A.J. Johnson partnering with Terrell Owens. I got something to tell you about A.J. Johnson. Rob, did you know this seven-year pro is considered by many to be one of the best? best athletes on tour but at age 29 he's still looking for his first tour win ever maybe 2022 will be the year for aj johnson now he looks the part too doesn't he huh ex-quarterback in high school guy's an athlete the guy's a stud yep. i mean he works out like a wild banshee all he's got to do is figure out how to put all the pieces together and he and to they've had some great communication here already they are very much a team. Mm. A little work left. Four pin stands. <clears throat> Prediction? Rob? I think this is the team to beat right here. T.O. and A.J.? Yeah. My Josh, thought is... I have four pin. The winner of this one is, is probably going to be your champion. I, I just think this is a stronger team. Mm -hmm. All right, but the thing is, the ten has shortened. Johnson for the spare. Got it. Pick me up, dog. You right here? Yeah. All you, big man. So here's the Hall of Famer, T.O. Looks like he could still play. Oh, by the way. Get down! Hey, you know what? You see that five pin? It looked like it got hit by lightning. It didn't even know which way to fall. What a great shot there by T.O. Hold his team up. Not that you Barely weren't. puts his thumb in. Goes to the first knuckle on his thumb. And what a great shot by Terrell Owens, the Hall of Famer. Chris Paul. Oh. Nine. About the same thing, ain't it? 
That has been coming. That's going to be close, isn't it? Yeah, I left that three pin last time. That one, you were right into it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Third fastest to reach, right? 15,000 for, oh, he missed it. Oh, no. Open frame. That Tricked is going to sting again. These are just five frame I matches. My what's the name ball again? Yeah, the regular ball? Yeah. I should have. The what's but the name ball? Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not your ball? So no. Sean Rash needs That's to pick up his partner. Ball. And he does just that. Great shot. I think one of the best things that That's Sean Rash does with a bowling ball is he up. rolls it. He keeps his hand behind it, and he's so good at that end-over-end -end rolling motion, and he's able to keep the ball on line no matter what the old pattern is. I think that's why he's been so good for so long. AJ had a nine spare in his first effort. Oh, that's dirty. What a great shot that was, and they could have taken a big advantage there. Right now, our strike track powered by Kia telling us that Sean Rash and AJ Johnson are at the same ball speed at about 18 and a half miles an hour. Power about the same. And an oh, he oh, missed it. No. This is wide open. AJ airmailed the 10 pin. And an opening for Chris Paul and Sean Rash. A huge opening. Yep. Wow. This, match, this match all even, but advantage CP3 and Sean Rash because they're working on a strike. T.O. Big shot here for Had a strike. Can he get another? Up. Brooklyn oh goes goodness. down. Oh my goodness. Biggest uh, break of the match so far. Hey, thank you. Hey, Brooklyn. Right. Yeah, we're not right. Brooklyn. We're right. hey, nice Biggest stuff. break Brooklyn. of this event yeah, thus far, right there by Tara Owens. No messengers. Well, since he doesn't strike there, now they can lose. No matter what Sean Rash does in that final frame, A.J. Johnson can strike out and snap them off. Chris has got to make this, though. He missed it last time. Yeah, I missed another one. He missed it again. Yeah. What does that tell you folks at home? How important is spare shooting, Rob? Very. Dang, that's Very. So it's up to the pros now. Yeah, Rash has pretty much got to strike out here. There's one. If I would have got that spare, what could we have gotten? AJ and Tio looking good, sitting down, watching this one conclude. The winner, meet your one seed, Bill O'Neill and Hannibal Burris. We haven't seen Bill in almost an hour and a a long, 40 minutes. Yeah, a long time. Shot number two in the tent. Another strike. All right, so Sean it, strikes on his Bill shot, Rob. The way he got to get, he got to get a strike. All A.J. Johnson he has to do is go spare nine, and they'll win by one. Gigi loves that mitten, by the way, huh? Yeah, it's... Let's keep that hand I warm. Mean, like, keep it warm and then double it as an oven mitten. Got all three in the final frame. Good Sean Rash. Yeah, good finish. So in the books with an 86. Uh, AJ Johnson needs a mark and nine. If he strikes, it's over. the title match. AJ got it! Done. They're going to the title match. 
the football in the sun there real quick. Oh, yeah, you gotta sign, you gotta sign that thing. You gotta sign it. You gotta sign it. So Tio will get a shot at his second CP3 PBA Celebrity Dang Invitational on. title. Look at him pour it out. Two strikes. Man, I had to. He should have been the pro. TV. You know, Told you you could have did first, third, and fifth. Probably could have. Yeah, man. Hey, don't worry, I got mine when it matters. It's going down. Oh. I got mine when it matters. It's fair. It's fair. That, that was good. Hey. That's me, this, this is good for TV, though. He struck out. We still would have lost by 10. But it would have forced him to double. And one more for good measure. In the end, it was a route. 108-86. Yeah. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Well, he took advantage of the open frames and finished strong. More TV time for me. More so TV it's now time. one versus two. More, more TV time for me. Hey, way to hold me up. That's how hey, it works. That's what we do. You know what I mean? That's what we do. You know what I mean? We. Yeah. <laughs> that's what we do. You know what I mean? <laughs> the last one, we were training for that Brooklyn. Yeah. So, Chris Paul, the drought continues, my friend. Sorry to say that. Last won it in 2018. Will not win it in 2021. He calls 108-86. T.O. and A.J. Toadge move on. Up next, Hannibal. Toadge? Toadge. Toadge? Yeah, Hannibal Burris and Bill O'Neill, your one seed, the winner to take home the hardware. Kimberly standing by with our host and his partner. That was a tough loss for you guys because you guys fought hard. Chris, I know this is not the way that you wanted your night to end, but what was it like coming here and bringing this event to Phoenix? Man, it was great. It was great. Um, I just hate I let Sean down like that, man. Dag on nine and left those frames open. He did what he was supposed to do, but they, they bowled. T.O. stepped up big. He made the strikes when uh, he had to. And you still bowled very well, so you've got to be happy with how tonight went, though. Heck no, ain't no moral <laughs> victories. And that's fair, I, I, gotta, I gotta get better with that, but it's always fun playing with Sean. And Sean, what was it like for your first time bowling with him? Yeah, like I said earlier, I've done this seven or eight times. I've always wanted to bowl with Chris. Uh, what he does for the communities here now in Phoenix and what he's done in L.A., Houston, back home, North Carolina, you can't, uh, you can't say enough about how good him and his family are and what they do for the sport. Absolutely. It ain't T.O. <laughs> Let's see if we can get an upset right here. Hannibal's been having a lot of fun, so we'll get a chance to see if he can pull a rabbit out the hat. <laughs> oh, well, we'll see if that happens, guys. <laughs> it ain't T.O. No, I'm I'm right. <laughs> right. Wow. All right. Tell us how you really feel, okay. Chris. All right. Well, T.O. is going to be going for title number two. He and A.J. of Hannibal Burris and Bill O'Neill next to the 10 previous winning teams to take home that trophy. Who won it in 2016? Yeah, T.O. looking for his second title. And here we go, flashing back. We're in the shades in L.A. P.D.W. <laughs> teaching uh, our guy some really bad habits. <laughs> Yeah, one of the best trophies I've ever had. Yeah, Tio can lift that no problem. Pete's like, uh, only a little bit longer. Only a little bit longer is going to be in the air. Yeah. All he's right. he's not bench pressing that trophy. No. No. So, your one seed, Bill O'Neill, getting ready. His partner, Hannibal Burris, take on Hall of Famer, Tio and A.J. Johnson. Like we said earlier, we have not seen Bill O'Neill since, like, the opening segment. Bill O'Neill, the future Hall of Famer, coming off of a not so real deal this past season after his biggest year in 2020 but you know what rob i look for o'neill to have another big year in 2022. he's got the belt there from winning the pba playoffs back in 2020. for a strike. Bill, Bill's got a cheering section with him. He does. Yeah, Son Gavin. Gavin. Yeah, I posted a nice picture of the two of them on the flight on Twitter. I saw that. Coming out of Philly. Yeah. Pretty cool. 
So AJ Johnson. Five frame match, his partner, Terrell Owens. Remember, Chris Paul said, who do you want to win? He goes, it ain't T.O. All right, matching strikes. Hey, go get to another one, all right? Come on. I'm up. Now it comes down to the celebrities, and I think it's fair you to say win if you want it. large advantage to that man. Yeah, I mean, if Terrell Owens does what he's capable of doing, it's uh, it's going to be really hard to beat him and AJ. Uh, those legends that he rolled with. Oh, man. Just a pinch fast. You see those numbers there. Strike track powered by Kia showing you that Terrell Owens can bring the heater as well at 20 miles an hour. All right, run it over. <sighs> this is a big conversion here. Stay clean. Right. And he does. Wow. Really That's nice cleanup. Did we already I'm do the uh, we did guaranteed rate yeah. spare the? Yeah, yeah, we did. But that would have been a that would have been a winner for it as well. Yeah. Got to put the pressure on you. You're making me nervous over there with your practice shots. All right. Now, things get interesting now. nothing Rob man what a unique approach he has know, right? as well this is great here's his teammate Phil O'Neill big shot to take advantage of that oh wow Phil oh my goodness seriously wow better than the other one Why they go I'm gonna make it though all right I'll hold you to it right after his partner gave him the huge double and they could have taken a big advantage instead O'Neill goes high leaving the six seven ten Going after the six, kicks it and misses the seven. I thought it was going to go a little bit more. A little bit. I thought yeah, a little bit. Frame. Ouch. Oh, oh man. I can't do that to you, man. You got a double for it. I can't do that. Yeah. Hannibal did his back. job. Very un Bill O'Neill like. What? Oh my God. I'm like, oh my God. We can have the boat. AJ Johnson had a strike his first shot here in the final that'll be two oh, just man. like that yeah. doing his job yeah, yeah. throwing yeah. strikes and taking names now yeah. it's up to <laughs> Terrell Owens the Hall of Famer I'm about to put that pressure on you though you're going to have to show me two times that you can strike. <laughs> you're going to have to show me two times. Don't be on camera saying that and then have no, something hey. else happen. You're going to have to show me two times that you can strike twice. Hey, one time here, what do you say? Oh, my. Oh, Rob, I'll tell you what, I thought it looked way better than that out of his good. hand. This could be a big opening for O'Neal and Hannibal if he misses his spare. Oh, that looked good. I thought it was pretty good. Oh, all the players thought that looked really good out of his hand. 3-6-10. Got it! Oh, what a pickup! How about that cover? How about that cover? Oh, that was clutch. That's my partner. All right. All right. Yeah, he's done. Other way. Over here? Yeah, right there. Now, Hannibal Burris had a strike. And his shot's taking another look at Tio's clean up there. Hey, my guy's a shooter. Spare shooter. 
Man, that was supposed to be in a light mixer. That was pretty good, though. That was pretty good, though. All right, so Spare here. O'Neill strikes out the up 105. That would What's up? make A.J. Johnson okay, double in the 10th, or excuse me, in that fifth and final frame. 10th frame, fifth frame. Handball's got to get this one done first, though. Big one here. Oh, that was a good try, though. That was a good try, though. Yeah. Hey, that was a good try, though. Real talk. For real, that was a good try. No, I feel it. Yeah, that first one, I, I thought he was... Damn. O'Neal's got to strike out to give them any hope. There's one. Oh. Yeah, but even if he strikes out, AJ I, just hey, needs man, good count. There's kids here. It's kids here, man. That, for me, that, I, that was easy for me. Really? I like it. I like it stack like that. You hear Hannibal groaning in yeah. the background. He's <laughs> right. He's going to be replaying this one over and over. All but over now. Yeah. You might throw in the gutter. I might. You might. Yeah. Yeah. I might. <laughs> O'Neill said he might throw in the gutter. That's not going to happen. This trophy, those beautiful trophies are going to go to AJ and T.O. T.O.'s going to win for the second time. Yeah, by the way, two dudes, we yeah. can lift that trophy up with ease. Yeah, yeah. Good luck for you, man. We need, uh, what do we need? By the way, we got to get Hannibal back next year. He's fun to have hey, around. Yeah. What's this stand for? Hook. My first and last name. Your first and last name? Yeah. What are your biggest regrets in life? He's working on. <laughs> what are your animals trying? He's trying. He's trying to get in AJ's dome, and it, it's uh, not going to happen. So <laughs> not going to happen. Nope. Game over. There's your winners, Tio and AJ. And how about that feeling, winning this tournament with a Hall of Famer and Terrell Owens? Can't say that's happened to you every day. Uh, yeah. Don't for one moment think that T.O. is not enjoying this. Oh, he loves us. Second time. AJ continues to slug him down. T.O.'s now got two titles. Hey, that was impressive, bro. You're going good. Hey, right, bro, you, you brought that heat that second. You went over there and told me something about that. Regret. I don't know about that. Regret. Right, I don't know. Maybe watching the last Netflix special or something. Ladies helped him out with that. Oh, Those two titles. Second most to Chris Paul's four here at the CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitational. The drought continues. Hey, Chris down. Paul, another win for T.O. Terrell Owens has got a nice game, and if he, he gets some time to put some work in and practice, he's a factor. Look at these two guys. Look at these two hosses lifting this up. Yes. Yeah, Tio had a little bit easier time with it, just saying. AJ's doing a pretty good job with that heavy trophy. That's some yes, really sir. nice hardware. Yes, sir. Pretty damn good, huh? Oh, yeah. Another peek at AJ's last shot. Why not end with a strike, right? Good stuff. Way to go, AJ. Yeah, another trophy for T.O. So let's go downstairs. Kimberly standing by with our winners. Chris, I know it pains you to do this, but please do the trophy presentation. Uh, yep, uh, they deserve it, though. They want it fair and square. Congrats, you guys. Thank you kindly. Take home the, the hardware. There you go. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it. Thanks, Tom. So, Tio, it has been five years since you have been able to lift this trophy. What's this moment like for you? You know, I came here, honestly, for two things only. That's obviously to support Chris uh, Foundation, but the other one, obviously, I came here for the hardware, and so we accomplished that. So I'm very, very happy for this moment. Now, that cover you had in the ninth frame was really big for your team. How were you able to do that under the pressure? Honestly, uh, spares, I mean, I'm...
probably better with spares than I am striking. But, but uh, you know, I knew I had to kind of pull my weight. I knew this guy right here was going to do his job. So I just tried to do whatever I had to do. And so uh, 316, I got it. And AJ, you did do your job well. What's it like, the fact that you come out here for the first time at a CP3 event and you win this with T.O.? Uh, it's, this is incredible. Uh, like T.O. said, we, you know, we had we had one or two goals, support Chris and his foundation and everything his family does, and then uh, obviously to walk away with the hardware. I can't say enough about this guy's spare shooting. He was pretty clutch. Those were, those were aced, so it made it a little easier for me to do my job. Well, congratulations. You guys earned this win. Thank you. So another title for T.O. and uh, maybe a harbinger of things to come for A.J. as well. Yeah, I mean, I think 2022 is going to be a, 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 the biggest year and the brightest year for A.J. Johnson, really. A lot of fun, as always, here at the CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitation. Hey, good to have Pops, right? It was. Charles Paul. Pretty Take awesome. part this year. Neat father-son moment here in Phoenix. But in the end, it wasn't CP3, it was T.O. and A.J. taking the title at the CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitational.